Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our full Angular 9 tutorial series. This is the part 4 of the tutorial series. If you have not checked out our previous three parts, I request you to kindly do so. A little background and introduction about myself. My name is Sridhar Rao. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer using both front end technologies as well as back end. I am here to share my knowledge and also to learn from you. That being said, during the course of this tutorial, if you have any doubts, just ask me and I will be happy to help you for free. So this is the part four episode of the tutorial series. If you have not checked out the previous tutorials, please do so. Today we will learn how to install Bootstrap framework in our application. So the prerequisites are you should, if you have not followed from previous episode, we will need an operating system, we will need a Node.js environment, we will need Node package manager, and we will also need Visual Studio Code Editor. The tutorial continues from where we left last time. So we were able to run the application, Angular 9 application successfully. And now we are going to add Bootstrap framework into it. So let's get started. So the first thing we do is to install the framework, which is npm install bootstrap. This will install bootstrap 4. But if you are looking for a specific version to install, you can pass at the rate 3.2 or 3.3, whichever version you want. Once we have installed, we will need to import this into our style.css. Once we do that, we are good to start using the bootstrap framework in our Angular 9 application. Let, let me show you how through hands on um, e examples and practical mode. But before I do that, please, if you're liking the series, give a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any tutorial. Let's dive into it. All right, so uh, let's do the first thing, which is I am going to go to, this is our project, expand source, go to app, app component dot html so whatever we see default so if you see here our application is running and i'm going to clear so to run if you don't pass any port we learned this last time in the previous episode just do ng serve and we should see our application running on port 4200 right so if you want to customize we can change the port that we learned in the previous episode please do check it out if you want more information on it we are building an application called One Conversion, which would help us to convert all the different mechanisms of uh, meter, centimeter, millimeter, numbers, etc. All right, so we we got our application up and running on localhost 4200. I'm going to open the application and make it 4200. Enter. So we see this is the default application. First thing we'll do is get rid of everything from app dot component except the last line. This is important line. I will talk about it in detail. So don't worry. For now, it should just look like H1 welcome to one conversion. So nothing fancy, just a simple heading, right? And you can see our application also compiled successfully. And since it's a hot reload, automatically it is showing up in our title, right? So now this is 4200 welcome to one conversion. So now our main task is to install the bootstrap framework. So let's run the command npm install bootstrap. This will install bootstrap 4 in our application. So we can see once you once this is done, we should see that. So you can see it has updated and added the library, which is bootstrap 4.4.1. To verify, you can go to your package.json and here we should see an entry for bootstrap. Okay, so since we didn't save it, it didn't come here, but let me show you here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. So now I'm doing a npm install bootstrap save. All right. So now let's go to our package and okay so it's in our node module 
okay we'll come back to it and check that out but first let's get started uh, since we have already installed now let's go to our style.css which is here and add this line at the rate import bootstrap dist slash css bootstrap min.css this is a path to where our node modules is installed so this is the quickest way for us to get started and install it so now that we have installed bootstrap framework we have uh, imported the path of the css directory so now let's check our output now we can see there's a change in font because it is applying bootstraps font but has it still applied or not let's go to our app component let's throw in a utility class just to make sure that it's working as expected so i'm throwing in a utility class class called bg hyphen primary that is background primary color also if you see we are running auto it's a hot reload that's why i'm not refreshing my page it is auto refreshing so now we can see it applied the background color which means it has installed the bootstrap successfully imported the library style sheet and applied the styling accordingly so that's how you install bootstrap in your angular application so i hope you like this series uh, i hope you are able to get it so far and i hope you are able to follow the um, tutorial while we are building it i hope you are liking this series please give a thumbs up uh, if you like the video and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because up next i'm going to talk about the entire folder structure entire files how they are rendered how they are used by angular and everything that you need to know about angular project structure and booting process that's very very important often asked in interview question often asked or often required to set up while building your application so, so stay tuned while i bring you this tutorial series give a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel thank you so much again